That's loud. Ooh. Oh. 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 I have to back up a little bit so that I can put a controller right here. Oh. What? No mute? No mute? No opening movie? Nothing? Oh, we gotta optimize shaders now. It's a shader optimizer. It's the shader optimizer simulator. Oops. Sorry. Into the microphone. Can I route this back or what the Cables, you're driving me nuts. Driving me nuts. Whatever. Shader optimizer 5000. It's already version 1.488.4. We'll see how this goes. Like, Microsoft is losing its um, touch with uh, Forza Horizon and Forza, Forza Motorsports. Sorry, Forza. Let me say it right before people are pissed. It's Forza, son. No, it's Forza. Tomato, tomatoes. Narrator. Oh God! Seven, Shut on, the fuck up. Off. One of two. Subtitles. Yes, that that. Heavy driving, no. Settings. Moderate assists. Minimal assists. Can we modify this? Uh, no, li no lines. ABS on. No throttle assist. Simulation, hopefully. Trash control. Uh, we're gonna put that on the sport. Shifting. Automatic. I'm not a. I'm not a shifter. Track limits are off. That's fine by me. Okay, next one. Accessibility. Everything off. We'll leave that on. Gameplay and HUD. Mirror on. Yes. Digital or analog? That's only giving me analog. Okay, rotating map. No damage. No damage. I'm not playing with damage. I've seen people play with it, it's fun, it's awesome, but I don't play with damage. I play for fun. Our progression, yeah. Delta bar, eh. Everything else will default. I have to change this, I think. motion effects. We're going to turn that shit off. You don't need to see that. Audio. I think we're going to 50% that one. Basic video. Um, turn dynamic off, please. I don't want dynamic off, please. gonna play full bore we're not gonna use it even though it's there we're not gonna use it what are the options quality balance performance ultra we won't use it for now we'll see how that is Let's say ultra for that but we're gonna do custom anyway so advanced video yes hi Ultra's not worth it. Uh, let's say unlock V-Sync. Resolution scale... How high does it go? 200? Look at that VRAM go. I got plenty of VRAM. Uh, we'll, we'll just put 100%. 16. Um, no ray tracing. Our model quality? High. Hi. Hi. Well, that ram shoot up, didn't it? Motion blur off. Lens flare high. Is that it? That's all your settings, guys? I guess it's shadow quality. Right. 
calibration. <clears throat> Okay, 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 okay. Customize layout. Okay, skip. Convert. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Oh, okay, we're gonna, we're just gonna write in. Okay. We gather at iconic cathedrals of speed. United by passion. Driven by competition. We bond over every challenge. Of course. Of course my internet connection will drop. Of course! And discover who we are at the limit. Welcome to a new era of motorsport. Welcome to Forza. Appar apparently my internet connection dropped. Game seems loud as hell. Loud. All right, well, I'm going to turn it down for me a little bit. Hopefully, I'm okay. Maple Valley. It looks sick. Maple Valley is the perfect track to put the new Corvette E Ray through its paces. I'm sure you've seen all this, but it is what it is. Good. Seventy frames on high. Ooh, they do feel weighty. Coast through it, then accelerate as you exit. Yeah, the cars definitely do feel weighted. I've heard people talk about that. They really feel weighted, though. Find the view that works best for you, but always be looking as far as possible. How did I turn that off? Oh, we're hitting a hundred. I need to change some things. Sorry. Is it? Unassisted throttle steering, that might be why. Sports. Feels a little, feels a little tight. We'll see what uh, simulation does. Save. Zoom. Oh yeah, it's squirrely. Hey, I appreciate Microsoft on this. It works right off the gate. There was no problems. Crew. Motor. Oh, 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 yeah. Just wanted to do that. Yeah, that's that. That's it. That's just wanted to show off. Yeah. So it's squarely. It's 
Does it have camera shake? I may have to turn that off. Whoa, slow down there. Holy crap. Did you see that slow down? That's just a taste of a typical practice session with light traffic. Now let's see what the final laps of an endurance race is like against a full field of competition. Y'all saw that slow down? Wow. Hopefully there's some patches coming. I'm running on an AMD system, so who knows what that is. Come on. Don't put me directly in the race, please. I'm trying to look at something. Um, uh, doing sRGB. Plenty of laps behind us and only a couple more to go. Just one last pit stop for fresh tires and you'll be in a great position. Dude, for the why is it just this 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 sutter? I may have to check the video settings again because I think the thing didn't save, so I could be wrong. Get on it! Get on it! Alright, the settings. Since that was messed up, so basic video just, just screen. Don't show the message again. It's funny, they don't do it to like 120 or more. We'll do, we'll just say 60 V sync. Ooh, bands controller. Yeah, we're going to fix that. See what that does at zero. Let's see how bad it is. Here we go. Crash instantly. Leaving the pit area. If it's V-Sync, it's 60. Shouldn't it stay at 60 and not just fluctuate around like that? I mean, it's above 60, so that's good. And we're playing on PC at the moment. Uh, I may switch to Xbox Series X see how that goes, but we'll see. And I do have the wheel in front of me. We may do that as well. I may have to pull up a video to get the settings set up for that, though. Because I heard that the defaults are kind of jacked, but whatever. This mouse out of the way. Looks like the difficulty set super high. Dude, this doesn't turn very well. Damn. Yeah, the cars feel much heavier than the previous. Even on a controller, it feels much heavier. There's no vibration really in the controller, but the cars just feel sluggish and heavier. I, w I wouldn't describe it as sluggish, but 
just feels slow and heavy. Even though we're going about 100 miles an hour. Which doesn't feel like the sense of speed is there. Oh, that car sounds nice. The one behind us? It's not like a high-end diesel truck. So when you get to the pit, there's a drop in frame rate. Or not the pit, um, the crowd. Real drop in the crowd there. They may have to tweak that a little bit. So I'm just running on a 6800 XT, so it's not a uh, 4 series or equivalent. From open practice runs to thrilling wheel-to-wheel -wheel races, that's just a small sample of what's ahead. Ready to begin your motorsport journey? Sure. Let me pick a car. Pick a car, pick a car, pick a car. What cars are they going to give me? All the cars that everyone else is getting. That Let's get probably seen since last night. Career. You know what would be really cool is if we can pull over your character from Forza 7. Because I have Mr. Frosty. You can come back later to try something else or to check out what's new. It'd be nice if we can pull that over. Unfortunately, we can't. Um, let's go with the... Hmm. I dig the purple visor, though. Do they have this in white? That would be sick. Do they? I don't know. Purple visor. <sighs> if you hear the noise, I'm sorry, it's my fan. We'll just go with the Forza. A car's journey from the showroom floor to the winner's circle is the, the culmination supply. of a thousand little decisions. <clears throat> every part, every detail. All carefully chosen by great builders who know what it takes to push a car past its perceived limitations, to find that extra tenth of a second, and in the process, process. create something that is a unique extension of themselves. Your car's journey begins here. To become a Builder's Cup champion, you'll need to outsmart and outbuild your opponents before battling it out wheel to wheel on race day. Right, we pick a car. I'm ten tempted for the Mustang, um, but I'm probably going to pick for the Subaru. For our first series, we have a few cars for you to choose from. Each is a great starting point for you to build, so pick the one that speaks to you. Hmm. We'll go with the Subaru. The limited edition STI 209 may be the greatest high performance Subaru of all time. Its compact turbocharged engine and all wheel drive system is perfect for epic acceleration and remarkable handling. Confirm! We can't wait to take this to the track. Can't wait to take this to the track. Here is where you create your best possible racing experience by adjusting the difficulty and rule set. As your racing skills evolve, try raising the difficulty to earn even more credits to buy other cars. All right. So we're going to do club rules because, yeah. Um, let's put it, how many are there? Eight. <laughs> Actually, let's start here. Mm, maybe 
there. Let's start at three. Let's see how that is. Yeah, club rules is where I'll be playing most of the time because I'm, I'm not playing hardcore crap. It's not. That's just stupid. Why is this arm lower than that one? All right, we're going to go play. Yes, confirm. Go for it. Play on easy. Yes. Dude, what's the stutter, man? Come on. Should I pull up? Let me see something. Can you not go, go right into a race? Can we go to a menu? It's literally paused up. Practice is your time to learn the track layout and how your car handles. I've set a target lap time for you. If you struggle to achieve the lap time, consider changing the difficulty settings before the race. Now let's get after it. Just bear with me there, just checking some stuff. beast mode so the game is not optimized fully that's all probably actually can cancel practice people don't don't know how to do that people but you have to do practice to like upgrade your cars and stuff you don't have to but there's a way basically you start the practice session you press start and you go into one of the menus and then you can exit quit i don't know if it's quit or exit i forget but uh, let's go ahead and start practice i'll show you when i get in I don't know why they're still using 30 frame video though for their videos. You guys are stupid for doing that. Race event, still. Where you hone your skills with your latest build on the track you'll be racing. As you practice, you earn credits and we'll be tracking your lap times to see how you match up against the competition before the race. Yeah. <clears throat> Next. Got it. So if you go into start, and let's see, go to exit, there you go. That's how you quit the practice. But we're not going to do that because you got to get used to this game, right? We have to beat it in 110 for a lap. Good luck on that one. Off track. Penalty. Maybe it'll be lenient because I'm on club rules. Breaking is not so good, or the turning radius. Probably because these cars are basic bitches. They're not upgraded. Hey, what's up, Sir Blackness or Cam? How you doing, man?
Yeah. Honestly, I think the Crew Motorfest is gonna take it this year until Forza gets their content. But as for like sensation of speed, it doesn't feel very fast. That's what you were referring to as well. Well, the majority of the Forzas and the Horizon ones, they fell off because they don't have the same enthusiasm anymore. But I can tell you, this um, the cars drive a lot better in this, and they you feel that they're weighty and that they're that they're good. Um, they had the ability to do practice before, but this one they actually force you to do practice to get points so you can upgrade your car, which they just basically made it so practice is worth it, something. But you can still exit the practice, like before, it's just, you have to exit and exit, basically. Oh, I got the goal without paying attention. Okay, cool. I mean, you don't have to do the practice, but it, it helps to because it, the upgrade system they put in here, it's you get points and credits to upgrade. And um, the initial track list is quite small because they're going to start um, doing DLCs with tracks instead of cars this time, which I, I kind of agree with. That was that's a smarter way of doing it because just releasing cars is boring as hell. I mean, for Horizon, that's fine, but for this, you need like you need deals, track DLCs, and you need to take like custom tracks and crap and stuff with the DLCs. That would be nice. And they have penalties, which they're really uh, heavy on the penalties in this game. But I'm playing on club rules, which is limited penalties, so it's just fun mode. Alright, so we beat the thing so we can finish our practice. That was a great practice session. Now it's time to race. I don't know. It, I can see what people are saying, and it's like it, there doesn't seem to be like this excitement atmosphere in the game for this game. It just seems like here's a race, here's our new racing game. That's it. I mean, like in game, not not the PR stuff. Like there's no excitement in the the voice people. They just read. They're like reading a script. They're like. <laughs> it's like the complete opposite of Horizon, which is overboard excitement, which the original 2, 3 was just natural excitement, but the later voice actors are just, oh my god, this is awesome, and we don't need that, but <laughs> this definitely needs that. Like, I'll, I have it, I have Game Pass, I'll play it. I'm, I'm in the racing game, so I'll play it, but it's like the, the crew Motorfest it has a lot more excitement today for this to it event. in game. Plenty of time to size up the competition before race time. I need to figure out how to get. All right. What's cool is you can actually cycle through the driver list if I can figure out how to do that. OK, yeah, you can actually cycle through your drive the drivers that are on on the track, which is cool. Um, you can go to fuel and tire. Driving style, track conditions, and race length are key factors in determining our initial fuel and tire strategy. Do we take limited fuel and soft tires for a light and fast car? 
or push a late lap pit strategy with a full tank and harder tires. Teams must weigh the cost benefits of each decision. We'll want to play around with the setup to find the best combination for each event. This is actually cool because um, that makes it more like a simulation thing. Um, so if you're you have 100% fuel, you're heavier. But if it races four laps, you can drop this down to like four laps. And apparently the first race, it doesn't matter. But uh, we'll just go full gas for now. We'll see how that works. And when you have upgraded abilities like tires, you can change that. But I'm sure that I'm going to be like for this race, I'm probably going to be behind like last. Now I was watching somebody play this and like the Honda just destroyed him. But he had the Mustang too. Of course he was playing on Expert with penalties and just cranked the difficulty so my difficulty is like not free. So it might be a little challenging but maybe not. Because you can see that I'm already like six so. Or seventh. Ow. Wow, that didn't even put up a collision thing. Wasn't strong enough, I guess. Yeah, like maybe it's like the original, like some of the older racing games where the cars just feel slow without upgrades. Because like there's no sensation of speed, even though it says 100 miles an hour. Like it does a little bit, but not, not like you expect. Four laps in sixth place. Of course, my driving style is... I usually let up on the gas a lot. Sometimes that hurts my ability to win. Ooh, heavy brake on that one. Hey, at least on the, the club rules, they relax a little bit, because dude was playing on expert, and he was just like, penalty, penalty, penalty. I'm like, Jesus. And that's a corner you don't really have to break at. Okay. It does drive nice, though. I give it that. Driver level three. What's crazy, too, is you have to get each... You have to upgrade each car. So each car that you get, you have to go through an upgrade. You have to do practices, you have to do races to upgrade your car. The other messed up thing is you have to get to uh, car level 11 to be able to change your tires. They're gonna have to do a rebalancing patch because usually the first car or the first three cars are so far ahead, it's ridiculous. Like this first car, that's ridiculous. It's probably a Honda. Doesn't look like it, but it might be. 
Sorry, I, I don't like Hondas. That's that's me. But it's like the first place person is so far ahead, it's ridiculous. Off track? Nope. Like you see they were like right next to me and they're just gone. I think it is the Honda. It's like the turning radius is not very good on these cars. Unless you do the braking thing. And we lost. No, we're second. Yep, on the Civic. Great race. P2. They're gonna have to do a rebalance patch. They will. Points earned after every race will determine our overall series standings. Ending the series at the top of the leaderboard means that trophy is ours. I don't recognize any of these people. Apparently they're not putting your friends lists in your game like the old games. Which is fine. Also, the, um, the other cool feature is they will import cars from the previous games you've played. Unlock new parts that we can use to increase Wheat. vehicle performance. Ready to head out for our next event. Oh, we're ready to head out. <laughs> sure, continue. Between each event, you'll have the opportunity to upgrade your car. Use the valuable car points you've earned for new performance parts. New parts will be unlocked as you level up your car throughout the series. All right, so you actually don't get funds or credits. You get CP, which is car points. Different take, different twists, you know. Um, but you can tune your car. Well, I think tuning is blocked right now. Yeah, that's a BS. <clears throat> but um, they're forcing you to go to performance to make you learn it. Leveling up your car earns you car points, or CP for short. Using your CP gets you the best performance upgrades to install. Try to experiment with different parts. If a part doesn't get you the results you were looking for, remove it. Then use the refunded CP for something else. That's nice. No two cars are the same. Each car has its own unique set of parts. As you level up the car, new categories of parts will unlock. Yeah, it's an RPG system. All right, continue. Installing parts will change the car's performance, and the PI number will be recalculated to reflect that change. Mm -hmm. A car's PI is determined by its level of performance. Mm -hmm. The faster the car, the higher the PI number. Car mm -hmm. class corresponds to a specified PI range. Each event will have a car class and PI limit that mm -hmm. we will need to stay under in order to compete. Like every other car game known to existence. We just keep changing the terminology. So we can do a limit of 600 for these races and we're 547. As we build, be sure to keep an eye on the balance between power and handling. Over investing in any one area can hurt our competitiveness. Experiment to find a build that's right for you. That's interesting. Quick upgrade will install parts for you and build a car with a balanced performance. For those that don't want to do it, okay. Is it making me do a quick up? Okay. This is a summary of how your car's performance will change when we install the parts for you. Right. 
So they want us to do a quick upgrade first. All right. Now that we have some new parts installed, let's head out for our next event. No. No. That build looks good. Let's head no, to the No, it Modelo. doesn't. I want to be max. 600. I want to destroy everybody. Can I, oh, can I go back? Engine. Oil and cooling. Alright, so let's... I don't have enough points because they use all the points, right? I'm just looking through them. Exhaust. That's what we got. Oh yeah, that'll be worth it. Air filter. Got the performance filter. That'll bump that. Cooling. Probably this one because the handling and crap was down. Platform. Great. Oh, I do. Okay. Train. Locked out. Rear, 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 rear wing. Version engines. You can swap engines, which is nice. Body kits, drivetrain swaps, 